press J. Yeah, so that way you can craft one per second. This just gets better the better your crafting is. So here we are. If we sell that Ashura that we just crafted, we get 4,484. This is the highest that we can get for selling any one item in the game. All right. Yep, it's official. Everybody's getting notified. I'm live right now. So, I've been thinking about this for a little while. I wrote a program that allows you to do a sick auto clicker for Cyberpunk 2077. This, uh, a lot of people have been going the route of not doing crafting either because it's too hard or it takes too long so this is meant to make crafting a lot easier to do and a lot mainly a lot easier because you can just leave it for hours and hours and hours and it will do what you want so let's start up with cyberpunk 2077 so i can show you guys what i'm talking about and why i felt like this was needed uh, to start off, there are a couple of exploits that people have talked about, namely the soda exploit for crafting, and also some people have been talking about crafting exploits using the char incendiary grenade and the sodas that you can buy. Both of these are good, but I wouldn't say that they are ideal, mainly because you have to press the crafting button like a million times in order to get anything good out of it. So let's let's take a look at that. Uh, if I go into crafting menu right now, uh, so actually, hey, so if we go into inventory, we go into consumables. This is kind of what I'm talking about where you get Nicola, you get Chromanticore, and you get Nicola Blue. If you look over here, you get uncommon and common item components from that. Um, the way that people have been getting infinite money and upgrading their crafting and everything as well is by using this char incendiary grenade because it only takes common and uncommon item components in order to craft. It only takes one of each. The problem is you craft it, you get 6 XP, and you have to press it like 4 million times. So let's let's write a program that's going to make this a little bit This is bit the easier. simplest format I can think of to be able to run this. So the things that we're going to need, we're going to need time, we're going to need threading, we're going to need pi input. From pi input, we're going to need button and controller. And then what else are we going to need? Also pi input keyboard, not just mouse. listener and key code cool so we're gonna do this class and we can call this auto clicker or click mouse Let, let's do auto clicker class auto clicker and the reason that we grabbed threading is so that we can have this take from threading dot thread we're building a cool. class so that we can take what we write here and build off of it. So say we want to build an auto clicker that runs a little bit differently. We can do that. That's something that is totally okay for us to do. So as part of a class, we want an init and we want self, we want delay and we want button. What am I getting? Oh, hey, people know I'm going live on Twitch. So cool. So super, uh, we want this to be called auto clicker. Super auto clicker self dot init so that it actually runs this in it as soon as anything is called. Self dot delay equals delay self dot button equals button and then where should we start here let's start with this we want a couple of other functions just to start off so let's do start clicking and that's going to take self or 
we'll just have that be passed right now. Dev stop clicking. Also just gonna take self, pass. And dev exit, self. We wanna make sure that this loop does not run forever. And dev run. This is gonna be our main loop. So let's, let's code this right now. Um, so this is going to be a while loop to make sure that it doesn't stop running until we want it to stop running. So while self dot program running. So let's let's add that in the in it right now. Self dot running equals false. Self dot program running equals true. We want both of these so that we can tell, is this class happening at all versus is it clicking? So while this is happening, while self.running, so program running, it's going to be listening for a certain key press. And then when that key gets pressed, this self.running is going to start. It's going to start clicking. And we want mouse.press button.left. Obviously we can change these around for different games or different things that we're going to be doing. Time.sleep self.delay. So this is the amount of time that we want it to wait while it's holding the mouse button down. Then mouse.release button.left. Perfect. And then in between things we want time.sleep 0.1 just to make sure that the computer actually registers when it clicks when it doesn't click that should be fine so start clicking is when we want things self dot running equals true stop clicking we want self dot running to equal false exit is going to be self dot stop clicking run that and self dot program running equals false. Let's get some of our variables up in here. So delay, like I talked about, is going to be two. Button equals button dot left. That's for this. Uh, I don't even know why I put this in here because we have self dot button here. Yeah, that was that was bad programming. I'm I'm doing too many variables for the same thing. So self dot button. This will make it a lot easier to manipulate or change as you need it. Self dot button. Cool. And then what else? Do we so from the pyinput dot keyboard, we're gonna grab key code and character equals, and then we put whatever we want in parentheses. Uh, for this with cyberpunk, what's a good one? Let's do J, character J, because it's way over there and you don't use it for anything else. Exit key, this is the one that will run our exit loop. And it's the same thing, key code, character equals, and let's do, instead of J, let's do I for that one. Cool. So this is the basis of everything that we're going to be doing here. Um, we have this class that we can easily import into another program. It's pretty flexible in that, you know, you, we can change this delay if we're playing a different game that needs us to click really fast a bunch of times. We can change which button is actually being pressed. Let's get into actually running this. So mouse equals controller. That's from pyinput.mouse. We want to actually instantiate that class. Click thread equals uh, auto clicker. We're gonna instantiate it with delay and button, which those are from up here. That's why we created those variables. And then click thread.start. Perfect. 
So now we need to actually code in our event listener from the pyinput.keyboard so that when we press the button, it will actually, because right now we have while self.program is running, but if we press the button, it won't actually change running to true. So we'll never get this auto clicker loop. It's just gonna keep waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and do nothing forever. We're gonna change this. So def on press key, perfect. If key equals start stop key if click thread dot running click thread dot stop oh wait stop clicking perfect so if we're here it's going to stop and now we need to do the other part if it's if we're here then it's going to start else click thread dot start clicking hope that makes sense to everybody let me know if it doesn't uh haha -ha, elif key equals exit key Do -do -do. click thread dot exit So this is gonna be the main way that we run this loop to actually have it work. So with listener on press equals on press listener dot join. So this allows PyInput to actually listen for our keyboard. And whenever we press the button, then things will work. So if we press F5 to run this, it's gonna ask us to save. And we see it's running, but nothing is happening. It's not clicking. So what happens if I press our key code J? All of a sudden it starts clicking. It clicks and it holds for two seconds. See, I am not, I'm not clicking. Okay, let's press J again and get it to stop. Cool. So we know that it works. And if we press J, then it will click. If we press J again, then it will stop. Right? And if we press I, it will exit. So let's test this in game now. So here we are in our crafting menu. Let's press J. I'm not, not holding anything down. Every two seconds, it creates a craft. It looks like we could optimize this a little bit and put it at like, maybe 1.5 seconds or 1.75 seconds because it looks like it's holding it there just a tad longer than it absolutely needs to. Let's do that actually. So let's press I to exit. And let's go back and press J. Yeah, so that way you can craft one per second. This just gets better, the better your crafting is. You can leave this all night if you want to. As long as you don't move the mouse, you're gonna be fine. So hopefully this helps you a lot to get better at Cyberpunk and to make sure that you are able to craft. The reason that I bring this up is because um, the best way to make money in this game is by crafting these Ashura rifles. And you can create these legendary item components using epic item components. And the way that you can get epic item components the fastest is by deconstructing those char incendiary grenades. You can see over on the left here, you get three epic upgrade and one epic component for every single char incendiary grenade that you disassemble. So if we disassemble all of these right now, I should get 68 of them. Perfect. So within crafting, you can use those epic item components to craft legendary item components and you need one legendary item component to craft every Ashura. Each one of these, we're gonna craft one of them just so I can demonstrate this. Let's go to our nearest drop point. Back 
we sell that Ashura that we just crafted, we get 4,484. This is the highest that we can get for selling any one item in the game. So it's the fastest way to make money. The problem is, and this has been pointed out by several people, in order to get that Ashura, you actually have to, I'm gonna save and exit this right now. In order to get that Ashura, you have to have a really high crafting, and or I guess you have to have a really high technical ability so in order to get that technical ability here we have this program that lets you craft all night whatever the heck you want so hopefully that helps let me know in the comments and uh thanks so much for tuning in i'm gonna stop now see you later